Welcome, everybody. This is the Rotary E-Club of Silicon Valley. Every week, we bring you stories of people who are making a difference in the lives of others all over the world. We, we see it as our responsibility to, to take our, our theme of service in Rotary and to spread it locally, globally, and digitally. And we hope that you are excited about the kinds of things uh, that you have found as a part of what you see on our site and in our YouTube archives. Today, it being the launch of a Rotary year, we have our our newly minted, as of 12.01 a.m., President President Nick talking to us about what's on the way. And we have we have a good set of folks to uh, to welcome him into his year. We're excited to have, have him here. Uh, before we do, I would like to also uh, uh, also thank our our immediate our me now immediate past president Angelica Morata. All right, Angelica, uh, as the outgoing president, uh, she is a cybersecurity researcher and educator, and it was an eventful year. During her tenure, the club prioritized healthcare initiatives, recognizing the critical role that they play in communities worldwide. In particular, our e-club supported various programs aimed at improving healthcare awareness. If you have been following our weekly programs, you're well aware of the work we've done to help spread the word about all sorts of strong work in the field, including my favorite, Crush Medical Debt. All right. In addition, Angelica has expressed her gratitude to the club for their dedication throughout her term. As she told me, the club is poised for continued success in the coming year and remains dedicated to its core mission of fostering service, innovation, friendship, and understanding among its members and the communities that they serve. With that, I'd like to hand it over to our new president, President Nick. Nick, welcome, and the floor is yours. Thank you, Russian. I am excited uh, to be here and start the, the conversation for our year ahead. Um, for me, this is uh, an honor to, to start the Rotary year uh, with such great people in front of me. Uh, it is something that I love that our club provides this opportunity and uh, you can bring people together all over the world. And I did actually want to start with, as Russian was just saying, about a year behind us. We, I am excited because we, you know, we always have new members and we always have members that are moving on to other things. And I'm particularly excited that we have three of our members who are just departing our club who actually are starting new clubs. That part of growing Rotary is incredibly exciting to me. And congratulations to Alexandra for helping found the Nure Nuremberg International Club. Uh, she actually, uh, and I think like all of us, appreciate the opportunity to get together in person. And that is something she's taking by helping found that club. And Mitty and Yvonne are, are going a similar route, focusing on um, a local club to the Bay Area. I don't. I, I look forward to learning more of those details as they as they grow that club. And then we want to thank Martina and Angelica for their their service throughout the the years that they were with us. And I'm super excited by m welcoming over this last year members uh, Susan, Lisa, Casper, Elton, and Andrea. Uh, and I think Andrea's official first day is today as she moved up to the Bay Area. So welcome. And. Uh, I really, as as Rushton highlighted, I appreciate that every year is a new year and we were really focusing on healthcare. And actually we're trying to continue some of that and we'll get into that a little bit later about how we focused on healthcare and tying that into the mental health aspects of what um, uh, new Rotary International President uh, Gordon is, is trying to highlight is very exciting to me. I wanted to highlight also our vision. This is something that we are looking forward to potentially getting into and revamping and re revisiting, but I also think it speaks to me to be the most vibrant online service organization of choice with dynamic action-oriented members whose contributions improve lives in our communities around the world. I love that because this, I think, encapsulates the opportunity that an e-club offers um, because we are we are worldwide members. We have uh, We still have all the continents except for Antarctica, and I'm very excited by that and always want to encourage more people to join Rotary. Now, what the next thing I really want to get into is the idea of what's going great, what's where do I want to improve, and thinking about our club. Because our club, and this is where I, I, I pull out my consulting history, um, we have amazing strengths, and we have to acknowledge our weaknesses and turn those into the opportunities, and that's what I'm really going to focus on today, which is I love that my club here gives me the opportunity to be part of Rotary. I joined Rotary because I wanted to put service above self. And the way that this club allowed me to do that was with the club accessibility, the opportunity to attend a meeting anytime, Monday through Sunday, 
And I love that that is one of the primary foundations of our club. And I have the opportunity through my work to talk to other Rotarians as well. And when I talk to them and I say asynchronous, they, they, they don't quite understand immediately. But once you explain it to them, there's a light bulb moment of, oh, well, okay, that's something I could do. And that's something I could leverage and something that as at least as a makeup and give you an op another opportunity to engage with Rotary. I love that. And that ties into the programming and, and the global reach in Russian this past week. If you joined our meeting in the past week, we talked about the global banking and how, what is that, what is happening in today's world? And what is that compared to the, the previous uh, banking uh, issues we've faced in the past? And that's just one aspect of it. And then if you, join uh, us and follow us on our website, you'll see that we have a recording right after this and you can join recordings live and you should consider doing that. Our programming is awesome. And then also our global reach. I love that when we are even meeting as a board, uh, the love and the uh, frustration is that, you know, we're across multiple continents, even as a board and finding the right time is, is always an interesting uh, challenge. Um, we do have weaknesses and I want to highlight, and, and this is going to be a call to action to our members, to help me improve these things. And I'll talk about how I think we can improve these things. One is that the challenge of being having a global reach and having a global membership is that we are spread out. We can't sure. just get together. I had the opportunity, I, I work for a remote company. I had the opportunity to meet a client in person and sit for three days with them this past week. That, that still pays dividends. It, it, is, it is such a value to connect and learn about each other's day-to-day you know, -day lives and have that spontaneous, uh, just simple connection that comes with being in person. And I know that that's a challenge for us. And I want to inspire us to figure out other ways to in, in, engage and leverage the channels uh, that we have to get there. And that kind of goes into the, the, the opportunities as well. The other big area that I would love to see is uh, more of our members helping us in the in the committees. As we have our turnover and, and as we uh, have new members join, I want to make sure that each of them uh, is helping us uh, proceed forward with some of our initiatives. And we'll talk about that in a moment too. And really the the one of the bigger things that I'd love to see is, is us achieve as an opportunity every Rotarian every year, um, because I think it's a straightforward goal. And I'll, I can explain that when I get to the opportunities as well. And uh, from a consulting perspective, threats is, is uh, it's not, we're not in threat of anything. I just like to highlight them as concerns that I always want to have more engagement and I want to figure out communication. We're a big club uh, that has, uh, you know, it's, I think I believe our number is 46 or 47 right now. And having them spread out across the globe makes for different, uh, different challenges of communication versus sitting, sitting uh, in your own uh, club uh, where you just go there every week and have lunch or breakfast or coffee uh, or or a drink at the end of the day. So I want to talk about how first I can uh, help with that difference, make that difference, and then uh, I'll talk about the opportunities and then we'll also talk about how I'd love to see our club members make that difference too. And one of the things I have we were talking about as a board and is actually credit to Alexandra who has talked about this and uh, as she goes on to her her next club is that she suggested having a monthly meeting. It's not necessary that it's uh, a very formal thing, but an opportunity to provide people with an ask me anything kind of style where we're talking about the board activity, the, the things that are going on in our club, an update on our global grant, uh, what service opportunities have people performed. Russian always uh, works with, um, in, for his, uh, for the, um, the can't raising funds for fighting cancer, you know, those kind of things where you, we can share those in a, in a more online social aspect of things and making that a very regular occurrence and then um, getting that and turning that into a social event as well. Because while I see us recording that as a program and helping supplement our programming, I all, and that way we share with our members our, our activity as a board and as a club, also making it a social. That is that is for me incredibly important. The next thing for me is I am I am maybe transparent to a fault. Uh, I, I get that from a work perspective. I can't, I get told I can't change everything all at once, but I want to. And I really appreciate that this is something that I think our club uh, wants more of. Our, our members uh, want to know what's going on. And uh, I love it. I'm going to call out Lisa for this is that Lisa and I have established something where she's like, if she has a question, she just calls me. I love that. I encourage each of you to email me, I will uh, as I will share to our club members 
even uh, I use a, a Calendly as something that if you ever want 30 minutes to just talk with me, uh, whether that's just to have coffee with another Rotarian or to ask me a question about something that's going on in the club, that's something that's very important to me. Next for me is communication and the ability to go beyond email. We, I find personally that email gets lost. I have too many emails and I'm trying to keep up with them all. And I feel like most people feel that way too. Um, I want to figure out other ways and other avenues for communication. And the third area is really about um, do, getting involved directly with the district. As we've had past presidents in Sydney, Australia, and um, in Southern California, then moving to the Netherlands and in Italy, and myself based in Vancouver, British Columbia, we are still seeking to, to engage at our district level. And we... Um, Look forward to uh, having Lisa and Phil and Mike and a number of our members in the area going and representing our club. And Lisa has volunteered to represent me as, as the uh, designate for being present on activities that are happening at the district level. We need to take advantage of the strength of our district, and I look forward to doing that too. From an opportunities, that kind of ties into internal communication. I have some ideas with that, and I look forward to talking with our members about how to improve that, whether that's WhatsApp channels or uh, um, even in the chat, uh, we, we, uh, Andrea is asking about Discord. We attempted Slack. It might be an opportunity now to uh, try out uh, different avenues, and I'm open to all of them. The key is obviously that you know one talks about um, voting uh, for an initiative or, or sending out a new member update, email is still our primary. However, one of the things I'm really excited about is Mike particularly has made great strides um, on getting us stood up with Club Runner for a black backend. And that has allowed us to have a very clear space for member login, updating your information that connects it so that we can share with you, hey, you wanna read our bylaws? Well, here's the standard space for where that, that exists. Um, the second one is around external outreach. And I really, really value that as an e-club, we have many avenues to get out to, and we have this weekly meeting, the recordings every week. Please know that if you are on Facebook, Instagram, or LinkedIn, that we share these every week, I would highly recommend and ask you to share them wide because we should shout these, these speakers from the rooftops because they are awesome speakers, insightful, and I learn something every week. And then additionally, something that is exciting and is coming out and is being listed on our, our uh, program page as well is that we have now best of our programs podcast. And that is also super exciting to me because frankly, watching a video every week, actually sometimes I have trouble doing that. However, admittedly, normally doing dishes around in my house, uh, I listen to a podcast every single day. And I really appreciate that this is another avenue for, for ability to reach new people. Um, again, I've already talked about the, the, the district engagement and I'm really, really appreciative that we have that opportunity. I also am close enough that I really look forward to coming down to the San Jose area to join in some of the key district events as well. Last but not least, I really feel strongly that one of the things that we could do and do simply is encourage each of our members this year to donate and that make that an every year and really want to see that uh, as something we can achieve. And finally, for me, it's about how can how can you help? I've talked about how where our strengths and weaknesses are. I've talked about how I specifically am going to take action. Now I'm going to ask for you. Please take action. Take an active role in our committees. Each of them is a value and one will fit a desire for where you want to serve. Spread that word. Think about the social engagement. Talk about it. Even talk with your friends. Just remember that, you know, when I talk to my neighbor, they are like, oh, oh yeah, I know what Rotary is. Or if they don't, tell them what it is. And it's even to the point where I, ha I have, was on a work meeting uh, recently and I, this is fully remote, but then it happened that two of the people were in the same area and they're like, hey, I'm going to a Rotary meeting on Friday morning, can you come? Ask somebody, ask them to come, ask them to join you for our meeting, ask them to come to our, our recordings, but also just share and spread the word. Donate to the Rotary Foundation. Uh, it, the initiatives that we do as a, at a international level are amazing and know that your money is well spent by donating to the Rotary Foundation and generally just remember to serve sure. and, and know that all the actions we take are, are to make the world better. And I really appreciate all the time 
you take to do that. Thank you for, for everything. And that is where I end with questions. So thank you, Rushton, uh, for the time to speak. And I look forward to any questions you guys have. Excellent. All right, everybody. Uh, wave when I call your name. Just a quick introduction of the, the folks that we've got here. First of all, um, a friend of the club, but also one of the charter members, uh, Chris Cochran in, in Canada. Good to have you with us, sir. Yeah. And then going going around the group, uh, Rory in Houston, uh, Mike uh, in here in California, Sandy here in California, Andre here in, in California, Lisa here in California, Susan here in California, uh, Phil here in California, Maxi here in California, and providing continental diversity, Cecilia in Italy. Nicely done. <laughs> My name is Rushton. I'm in San Jose here in California. And... Uh, it is, it is exciting to kick things into gear. So everybody, to kind of prepare your questions. Uh, and, and Nick, as we get started, uh, one of the things that, that you talked about has to do with, with how we share these stories. You know, there's, there's this podcast that, uh, that Elton has done a tremendous level of work uh, making good things happen with. Um, are there are there other elements of what it means for us to tell these stories that, that are particularly exciting to you? Yeah, well, for me, it's about knowing and the, the podcast is particularly exciting to me because it is bringing up some of the, the best of our of our programs and um, the idea of surfacing it in another avenue as well, because for for me, the the reality is that we are a diverse club with many different avenues to help do service. And part of that is participating in our programs. And I think that the the reality is, is that this is this is one extra avenue that is just reaches another level. And I think that it's also one of the most consumable ways to think about our meetings and, and our engagement. Excellent. Uh, I think that that uh, it, it is it is worth remembering that being involved in getting programs is is a fairly simple thing. For example, uh, our, our our Houstonian Rory uh, contacted me some time ago and said we should have somebody talk about the banking crisis, and that's why th this week, as we record, we have the speaker we do. Uh, if if you have an interest in in sharing uh, a a topic with us, then by all means, just send me a note. You can send it to programs at siliconvalleyrotary dot com, uh, and uh, and just just let me know. Hey, you know, any chance we can talk to these people? Uh, the more info, info you can give me, the better, but, but there you go. Cecilia, you have a question. And I have to unmute. Um, <laughs> anyway, so Nick, uh, thank you for your presentation. I think it was good, helps us understand, you know, what you're looking for. The question I have is whether you have any particular initiative um, that you want to support or a particular interest uh, that you would like to see the club be involved in? So we, one of the things I, I strive to do is not do something brand new, net new. And, and that that is kind of a non-answer and I apologize for that, but I feel like we have a lot going on and I wanna make sure that we're doing everything really great. And that for me is where, like for instance, Cecilia, I, I wanna call you up for doing such great work with your global grant and knowing that we could support that. How else can we support your global grant? I want to build upon the initiatives because the health, the healthcare uh, talk conversation we've had over this past year is something that should continue. Uh, I really love that uh, President Gordon's uh, focus on mental health is something that we could pull in as well. And it means not stretching ourselves too far because one of the things I recognize is that setting lofty goals are great but they need to also have the the achievable steps that we can take. And that, that for me is where I'm, I'm looking forward to making sure that our opportunities are realized. Um, and that's where it's, an, it is still a non-answer, but it is where I, I want to focus on the key bits that we're already focusing on today. Uh, so healthcare, I want to continue. Mental health, I would love to in, wrap around because mental health is healthcare. Um, and also uh, celebrating and enhancing the work we're already doing, whether that's with the programs and also the global grant and the other service. Great, thank you. Question in from the chat from Lisa about community activities. What what community activities will people participate in, members, uh, and any suggestions that you have for people? I'm gonna lay down a challenge on that one because I want you each to go visit your local Rotary Club and ask and enjoy. Um, I. 
really have loved getting to know my local Rotary Club. One of the things that, and, and I'm going to uh, give a shout out to Casper, who is, um, he is a uh, member of the German consulate and embassy in uh, New Delhi. And one of the first times he and I met, he was talking to me about like, hey, I want to go to every single Rotary Club in New Delhi. Now, it's probably a tall order because uh, there are a lot of them. However, the he was seeking to be a part of a club that he felt he could connect with. However, he wanted to step out and go see those other Rotary Clubs. We have banners you can share. We, and uh, thank you for, for uh, Christopher for always pushing us to make sure we uh, enable that um, and making sure that we are sharing our club and our uh, our experience with other clubs out there. Um, but second is um, there, if there's an opportunity for you locally, especially for this group on this call right now, the number of people who are in California, let's meet up. Let's figure out how to do that and make it a, a volunteer service activity as well as the social activity, because I loved getting to know um, the, and meet some of our members when I was able to pre-COVID to come down in 2019. And I felt that really cemented some of the opportunities and, and knowledge of, of our members. And I would love and encourage each of you to, uh, um, to do that as well. Excellent. Um, there, there is a question from Sandy. Go ahead. Um, I would, you know, and I know we could talk about this at the board meeting, but um, I really liked when we did, you know, we were, you know, we took off too much that we could do, but when we were doing, you know, 52 ways to be a better Rotarian that, and yes. it was really fun. Like the time where, you know, for that week, it, but I think maybe we could just do it monthly. So people aren't so overwhelmed, but it was like really fun when it's like, take a walk around your neighborhood and just pick up trash. And then everybody posted pictures of the trash that they found. And, you know, it was some kind of wild things that, you know, were just in your neighborhood. So, you know, I just think that it would be fun to just do like really simple things and then post it so everybody could see or, um, you know, sending cards to a nursing home or something. And, you know, it's like you have no idea how big that is. And, you know, you just go to, you know, wherever the Dollar Tree and, you know, buy a, a you know, pack of cards for a dollar. And it means so much to somebody to get mail. So it's little things we can do, you know, and big things too. I love it. I'll add to that that uh, because one of the one of the primary focuses of the club is sharing stories that inspire Rotarians all over the world uh, to get involved in all sorts of different activities. That one of the things we can do as members is honestly to comment each week on the programs we get. So you you might not actually appreciate that, that that is very important. So when our speakers, uh, after the week that they're recording as a program, get to see the things that people have to say, both uh, both you know encouragement in the terms of, hey, great program, and then also detailed questions, uh, you know that that kind of next level of engagement, uh, it it is good for getting them to share uh, the the recordings themselves and also to encourage them about what rotary can be because our goal, is to is to help people kind of be proud of Rotary at every level. I mean, we, we're certainly proud of the flexibility, like President Nick was saying about our club, the many things that Rotary International does, and a great addition to the chat from uh, from President Elect now, Mike, who reminds us that that if you go online to Rotary District five one seven o dot org, Rotary District five one seven o dot org. Uh, you'll see what our district is doing. There's all kinds of great things there, uh, including uh, the, the, by some measures, the top interact district in the world, right? So, so please, please take a look with that. Um, the, the next question is, is actually a technical one. All right. And uh, just, just a technical kudos on appearing on your slide as you presented. You want to, want to just give a quick word sure. about uh, the yeah. reason for that? Yes, in your advanced settings, uh, using your PowerPoint as your background, it's it's it, I find I find one of the things that I find challenging is, and this actually goes to our programs and engagement, is that we we need to figure out how to how to be dynamic and engaging because sometimes, and I I, I will reference another one of our members, Roger. Um, he uh, was very stark in his presentation. This is this is in our archives. But he basically created a, a program where he was reminding us that sometimes PowerPoint makes us a little um, not thinking. 
Um, he used different words, but I'll use those. Um, and uh, I want to, if, if we are not engaging and and bringing out the 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 people in our conversations, then we're not we're not necessarily achieving what we want. So I really appreciate you asking because it is I love it and make because I don't like when I disappear into a tiny little bubble uh, that that no one can see. It's part of the conversation that I want to talk to everybody uh, in our club and on the program. Mike, would you like to follow up on uh, on the things going on with the district and uh, and and, and the power of communications for the different things we have going? Yeah, thank you, Russian, and and thank you, Nick, for kicking off our year in a very positive and dynamic way that is very exciting. Um, and I love the fact that we have uh, new members on board with us today, who. Like I was a new member less than two years ago or three years ago, and and having come from a traditional Rotary Club, had to spend a little bit of time figuring out what this new thing is and how how do I really be a Rotarian as I've always thought of being a Rotarian in this new context. And I, I hope by um, some of the things that you've heard this morning, um, it has kicked off some ideas for you how to be uh, more involved and how to be more of uh, a participant in your traditional Rotary missions in this new digital environment. And um, <laughs> from the district point of view, and, and we're only using District 5170 as a reference for our Bay Area folks, but you know every member around the world um, is part of geographically part of a district, even though our club is part of fifty one seventy, which is based in Silicon Valley. Um, every Rotary district has a website and is a collection of information about what the local Rotary clubs are up to, and. In our case, I can speak for 5170, every club is encouraged to use the district website to publicize their fundraisers and their projects and to provide news about what's going on. And I know from personal experience that every club in our district is welcoming of visitors and welcoming of volunteers to help them because I could, I think I can say safely, every rotor, Rotary Club is shorthanded, needs more help, and could do so much more if they had more members. But they don't always have new members on hand. But I always use every opportunity I can when I'm interacting with other clubs to explain that as an e-club, each member is, is actually challenged to find their own uh, avenue for service. And that a neighborhood club is a great way for you to, first of all, expand your rotary friendships. And number two, to actually get your hands on a local project. Um, I can speak for clubs in the district doing uh, neighborhood cleanup projects, going and uh, doing at holiday time, visiting um, um, assisted care centers and doing singing, it, it just singing holiday songs or uh, putting out a Thanksgiving meal or whatever it happens to be. Um, and, and so I would encourage you to be thinking about if you have the time and the opportunity to expand your service mission to think about how you can do that in your local area. And then as a club, as a digital club, we provide space on our website for every member to talk about what they did. And uh, I think that one of, Nick, one of Nick's priorities and my priority is to provide more member news in our weekly meeting page. Um, you think it, when when Russian had his uh, cancer walk project, we 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 had that in there. Uh, right now, there's a call from another Rotary Club for a project that they're doing in Nicaragua in the fall, looking for volunteers. Um, so, as you 
expand your reach, please keep us informed so that we can share that with other members. And, and it, it accomplishes the goal of putting more visibility of our club uh, to the district which is always losing members because they're too busy to come to the weekly meeting. And to President Nick's point about why this club is so attractive to busy professionals and family people and all the rest of the things that get in, you know, life, right? Life gets in the way. But this is a way for you to have an avenue for and a visibility to clubs that may be losing members to have them come over and maybe check us out before they actually leave Rotary. So I, I, I'm excited about our new year. I'm excited about um, positive things that we can do as a club and as individuals. And um, I'm looking forward to working with Nick on the board and, and all of the members to serve in that way uh, and make our club even more outstanding than it already is. All right, let's let's get uh, one or two more questions within the uh, the time frame. Cecilia, go ahead. You're muted. Okay, so as a kind of a a takeoff or related to that topic, um, on our website we have the little section somewhere in the middle of the meeting that says, "Did you do something this week? If so, tell us about it." So. Is there some place where we as members can go see what other members are doing? Because I've occasionally posted there and then I think, well, is anyone else posting here? And if so, what are they doing? Um, just so people have an idea what what we're up to. It is a great question. Um, one I don't know the answer to, but I think that between Mike and myself, we're, especially as we leverage uh, a secure site for member reporting, um, I think it's a very clear possibility where I think one of the things we've been challenged with prior to Club Runner is that while we have an excellent outward facing site, we do not have a consistent location internally to, to provide that information to our club members. And I look forward to doing that. That's a great one. Thank you. Thank you. Cool, cool. I can add that, that we do track that information. We just haven't reported it. So thank you for reminding us that it doesn't do any good sitting in a spreadsheet on a, on a hard drive. <laughs> right. And I, I think sometimes if some member is doing something and someone else saw that, they would be they might go like, oh, how can I be involved in that? And it would help improve involvement. Mm -hmm. I really like this direction. I think that's very it connects us all in what we're doing in our work. So kudos to you if you can make that happen. And my thing it for the banners was always, if I go to uh -huh. a club meeting, I have several objectives, obviously, to share in fellowship with that club. Also to tell them, secondly, about our club. And third, to tell them what our club is doing. And I really would love more and more. I know we have some Ethiopia, and I appreciate so much this club giving the grant to West Africa. Hopefully that can happen you know, annually where we continue to adopt this young lady and her Rotary Club. But for me, it's about going to clubs and saying, hey, this is what we're doing in our club. And I do believe a third of the membership of all clubs is sitting in the back of the room and not engaged. And they want to be Rotarians. And Susan knows that. And Susan and I, were, we know the realities of what Rotary is. And, you know, you got 2080 rule and most of the people are sitting in the back and not participating. I want to be that guy that shows here's how you can participate in Rotary and here's how you can take your heart and be engaged in the work that we're doing. So thank you for this meeting. I'm very encouraged to see this many people. And um, I like the idea of us. This is the first time I've really in an e-club. I'm still feeling my way around it and learning how to use the club and all the technical stuff. But I like the direction of the individual because I'm a nonprofit. I do my own work. I mean, I'm very happy with what I do. And Lisa, thank you for your support. And the kind of things I love to do is when Lisa, spent 25 minutes with Lisa, and God knows what a gracious donation. And it went to help some kids get some chess boards. So within the, the power of the club, there's support here for guys like me on the lower end of the, uh, you know, the higher end, of the, whatever it is on the, on the nonprofit world. But um I also like just to keep continuing to engage more members and learning what you're doing. So again, I'm really happy about this last year. 
I think we're going in a good direction. And I like the idea, again, I didn't want to lose that point. The individual going out and doing something should be shared with everyone. Thank you. Last comment from Lisa before we uh, before we wind down. Thanks, Rushton. Um, one thing I wanted to mention to everybody is, so you're attending today's meeting, obviously, but when this meeting or any meeting that you attend, be sure to also go on our webpage and recognize that you've attended it. Otherwise, you don't get credit for being part of the meeting. Do you see what I'm saying? You have... Yeah put that you've attended. And, and we we really appreciate that we offer an opportunity for all of our members to, to note if they're a member um, that they can attend uh, and mark themselves attended or the guests and put in their email, um, preempting some Russian speech, but uh, that you can make sure that you're actually sending that on as a makeup to, to another club. And that way, I know that uh, a number of our members have valued that they've been able to uh, reach their 100% attendance because of their the this is an all, other opportunity than just uh, going physically to their own club as well. All right. In a moment, we'll hand it back over to you, Nick, for the final word. Uh, everybody, thank you for taking part. Uh, we we hope that you appreciate the not just the flexibility that our club provides, but the opportunity to share stories that, that, that people need to hear. There are too many things that drag us down in this world, and, and the opportunity to hear from people who are doing all sorts of wildly innovative, interesting service work is, is something that we treasure being able to do. Uh, Nick, I hand it back to you for the final word. Thank you, Rushton, and thank you everybody for being here today because I really I really see our community uh, right in front of me, and I thank you so much for being part of that. And I look forward to an uh, upcoming year and uh, just always as inspires me and reminds me of why I've joined Rotary, and I thank you for that. Uh, have a great upcoming year, and I look forward to working with you all. Excellent. Everyone, we will see you next week.